Medieval Knight The Medieval Knight originates back to the Frankish ruler Charlemagne in the 8th century. He required soldiers mounted on horseback to fight across his vast empire. In exchange for their service, they were awarded land, called benefices. Soon the practice of loyalty serving the king in exchange for land and property, known as fiefs, spread across Europe. By the 11th century, knights were recognized as a prestigious warrior class, and the knights' role in the Crusades against Muslim control of the Holy Land further developed their purpose and role into defenders of the Christian faith and church. Training to become a knight The path to knighthood started at the age of seven. A boy born of nobility was sent to a castle as a page, and at age 14, he became a squire. He would train in combat with a sword and lance, how to ride a horse, hunting, taking care of armor, chivalry, tournaments, and warfare. As a squire, he could go into battle as an assistant to a knight, and at age 21, they could be knighted during an elaborate ceremony called the accolade, therefore becoming a full knight themselves. Chivalry Knights followed a code of behavior called chivalry, modeled on Christian virtues. Such principles included a vow to protect the weak and poor, honor women, never lie, show bravery, and to defend the church and king. The chivalric code also ensured respect between fellow knights. If an opposing knight surrendered during warfare, he could expect to be treated well as a prisoner for ransom. Some knights would go on to join elite religious military orders, such as the Templars, Hospitallers, and the Teutonic Knights, while others motivated by money became mercenaries. Weapons and Armor The invention of the stirrup had made it possible for mounted warriors to charge at the enemy effectively. Knights wore expensive tailor-made metal armor. Early armor was a coat of chainmail called the hauberk, which later developed into sections of plate armor added to it protecting arms, shoulders, and the legs, until eventually full-plate armor came about protecting the entire body. The knight could also carry a shield made of wood or metal to block attacks. The knight's helmet protected the head and could feature a liftable hinged visor, which protected the face and offered good airflow. While plate armor protected the knight from enemy swords and hammers, it was heavy and limited mobility. Knights used a variety of close combat weapons, including swords, lances, maces, axes, and war hammers. Combat To keep their combat skills sharp when there was no wars to be fought, knights took part in tournaments. These tournaments were more like a sports event rather than military training, featuring mock battles and jousting in front of large crowds, which a knight could seek fame and fortune in. So that knights could distinguish each other, they used personal emblems known as their coats of arms, displayed on their surcoats, shields, and standards. Because of the competitive nature of the tournaments, injuries and death were frequent to the extent that blunted weapons were enforced by the 14th century. On the real battlefield, siege warfare would be more common because of the development of fortified towns and castles to the frustration of the knights and their fighting style. Discipline in battle was often lacking, as knights sometimes broke ranks to show their bravery. After the siege, they would pillage and slaughter the enemy population, becoming rich from the looting that followed. In a pitched battle, the knight was deadly, charging on horseback or on foot against one another, clashing in brutal close combat. End of the night. From the end of the 15th century, new weapons such as the crossbow and gunpowder firearms and the rise of standing armies eventually made the role of the knight more obsolete. Subscribe for more history videos. Thank you guys for all your support on the Simple History YouTube channel. If you enjoy it, please consider visiting our Patreon page. There, you can show us your support for the channel by donating and make a huge difference in what we're able to create for you. Plus, you can get early access on upcoming videos. So let's keep it growing. And thank you for being part of this amazing community.